and welcome back to this Let's For Play Total War At Three end. Kingdoms. And at the very least, we're going to take this guy the off fate. Force March. I'm not fully decided. I don't think we're going to go in yet. Actually, you know what? That guy is on Force no. March, and I think he's in the water. And his army's pretty much gone. He's the guy we had the battle against last time. It looks like after the battle, he'd sort of done a runner. Uh -huh. What is the city's garrison like? I can't see that, can I? Can I? I can. They look pretty healthy, but there's not that much of them. Pure folly. And everything there is basically gone. Oh, protectors of heaven, though. Yeah. I will get one turn of recovery, then we'll go in. And then the question's going to be, do we just ransack it and let my... Oh. I cannot. Do we just ransack it and then let my allies Not capture it? He does have the other part of there. That's what I think we'll do. Right. As for everywhere else, we've got a wee bit of money to spend. Not much. We've got a wee bit and we need to spend it on making more. Where's my other armies? We had the other guy come. We had Reject one guy come merge corruption. here. Then we had you. Which I think we're going to move you down to this iron mine now. Outwards and on. They're yellow term rebellion. Why are they seen as an enemy? Yeah, I think we'll be able to take that. Help get this army involved. We need more armies involved. More armies doing fighting and etc. Okay, so we want to spend money to make money. Which this salt mine is probably going to be our best bet. Plus it will slightly upgrade our garrison. Oh, moving over here and starting taking this trade port and stuff would be glorious if we could get a wee foothold in here. Oh, Absolutely looks like this guy's going to do it for us. Uh, just, just check. Quick deals. No one can do a quick deal. Okay, I just wanted to check if there was a possible we could get a trade agreement if we don't already have one. I think we might already have one. Treaties with us plus 40. Yeah, that's probably a trade agreement or at least invited into the alliance or something. 15 income from peasantry. We're already getting a wee bit from peasantry, not much. You know what, we're probably better off demolishing that building and putting an industry one in there. What we got up here? Oh, hello. A commerce building. We've got lots of industry here. And we do not need the public order. We'll demolish that and then we'll put a, a building in that supports industry in there. Right. Our faith will thunder You have a ranking up to get. Oh, you've got that nice spear. Okay. Timurau and defending. Five instinct, which would be really good with your spear. Income from peasantry. Faction wide. That'd be nice. Uh, ten morale, one rating. You two public order, local commandery. I think that one's better so far. Was there anything that I was aiming for though? Plus 20 satisfaction, negative 20 com corruption, local commandery. Well, you don't have satisfaction. Range damage for his own army would be good. I would like that one. To get there, we'd have to call to that, through that. They would need to get the free too. Oh, that would be good. That'd be really good too. I think that's going to be my goal here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think that's it. One, two, three, four. I bet you that's quite good. Oh, ten armor. He does not have a lot of armor though, does he? Ten armor is at ten percent. Yeah, ten percent armor. That's just going to give him one extra armor. That's not going to do much. That'd be good if he was heavily armored. Like maybe one of these guys is. But he's already got his gold armor and it's only 10. Yeah, that ain't doing much. So we'll give him that. Because this guy, he's going to be a DPS king, but he's squishy as hell as well, thanks to that. Right. What's wrong with you? Lack of purpose, just. That's fine. That is fine. We can deal with that. 
And I want to spend money on getting you some troops. What we got here? We got one, two. What we would really need is some cavalry, but I don't see any way to get some cavalry. So, I don't know a couple of archer gang in there. And that'll do for now. Let's in turn. Oh, he's having a wee come down, are we? Right, I think I'm gonna fall back because I don't think he'll have the range. If he does, we can just fight it again. Yeah, I don't th didn't think he'd have the range. Then I can fight them one at a time. Especially how they're like out of movement, already forced march. We can jump up here and ninja that guy now. And I should still get my replenishment this turn, which will be glorious. Come on, Leo Biao, hurry up. Oh, is that his only city? I hope not. I don't want him to be out. Right, he jumped out to fight the Yellow Turban Rebellion Army stack. That's good for me. Like, oh, we got a big army here too. Ah, and there's another army. Ugh, army after army after army after army after army after army. Faction developments, Yellow Sky Apprentice. Character wounded. Truth. That is frustrating. And what's even more frustrating is we just don't have enough range to, range to take on that army. And he's just in range to support him. But I do have my ally there coming up. Well, let's go to the map. Yeah, I need to go to the diplomacy one, don't I? Negotiate faction grouping. Where's my one? Get him there. Can I not stay a war goal target in this one? You did that from the diplomacy screen before. And I thought maybe it's individual factions you say it with now. I don't see it at all. Before it used to be just for all allies, you'd set it in the diplomacy screen, I thought. Or was it just on the map in general? Let's see. Still in the diplomacy. Let's go for it. Let's just close that. Wait, I'm not in diplomacy. I don't know why I thought I was in diplomacy. I think it's just because I've seen the list of characters here, but these are my characters. Ah, and there's that army coming in. Oh, there's so many armies. Army after army after army. Remain honest. Right. Crush them. Boom. Close victory, my rear backside. Look at that. They're starving as well. I'm gonna st uh, starve Shot out. Fury. And then if they attack me, I'll fight it and we'll easily win. United we stand. Garrison here is half decent. I'm not too worried about this army. Impossible. Though I don't want this army recovering because it's going to be damn nice, but it just can't recover at the moment. Impossible. I wouldn't be worried about this army, but I'd be worried about taking Together, on then. that and the garrison and that army. You know, I think I'm going to move to here on the this turn. Close enough to get One these route. guys to support me. There's like three armies there. I really wish we had the range. I thought we did have the range to come and grab this guy. That would have been brilliant. Right, okay. What about those buildings we demolished that last turn? Where are we? Here we are. One son for industry. There's a, there's a forge one, isn't there? Income from industry blade replenishment. Yeah, there we go. We'll go for the forge. And up here, we'll do the same. We'll go for the forge. Brilliant. Happy days. I don't think we'll have the money to upgrade anything else anywhere else. We do have the tree though. Which I need to keep looking at money. Building upkeep. 
construction costs, public order. There was one that was reduced uh, retinue. Do I have another one that's going to reduce retinue? No. Just give me enlightenment and troops. I really want that, but I don't have the money for them. Character experience. Food production. Well, I've got plenty of food for now. Enlightenment. Food from farming. Ah. Like, that would give me buildings to upgrade, but I was wanting just a flat percentage on something somewhere. Looks like there's not much of that till much later on. Yeah, I will start researching these then. Six turns. Because I'm going to have to spend money to make more money anyway. And then taking a couple of pieces of land should help. We're doing not too bad though. Halfway, number of provinces wise. And once we start fending off these armies... That should be it kind of thing, you know what I mean? Like, if we manage to... Oh, there's so many of them. There's just so many of them. And they're starting to just clump together. Come on, I can't take them all on at once. Let me fight them one at a time or something. Yes, they're retaking land, my allies. Good, that isn't his only idea. What's this? Oh, here we go. This is going to be an easy battle because they're all half dead. Right, let's start the battle. There we go, we're back, people. And we can see their reinforcements are coming in from there. So they're not even going to get their full army right off the get-go. With that in mind, anything that has Vanguard deployment... Oh, I've got no archers with Vanguard. Wait a minute, is that... No, that's hidden. Ah, uh, okay, I'm getting the... Wait, no, 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 they are Vanguard. Yeah. Kind of pointless me doing that without the archers, especially when that's almost all my melee line. If it was the archers, on the other hand... Well, it's not pointless, it's just it'd be losses, it'd be heavy losses wise. Right, let's get over there ASAP because he's going to be wanting his reinforcements. Why did I? I was thinking he's probably going to spawn all the way over there so he's close to his reinforcements. Why did I? It's a bad habit I've got. If I see a forest, I automatically avoid it because it's that ingrained in me. Forest bad archers. I got archer advantage. But I, like I, at the start of the battle, I thought, right, he's probably going to spawn over here. Then I automatically just went over here straight after that. So it's like I took the information in, but then I decided not to use it. And it's only once I started the battle and I seen him over there, I was like, wait a minute. Why am I over here? Oh well, with that in mind, it's going to be able to group up no matter what, so let's uh, stop everyone. Stop. Let's uh, go right. There's a nice hill here. Is it inside the map? It is inside the map. Let's get on this hill. You know what, archers, right at the top of the hill. Right at the top of the hill. Melee, right in front of the archers. So we're getting a sort of straight line. Fire an arc over the archers. The general's just here for now. Speed things up. Because I'm the defender in this battle. So. He's got to come to me. The hill will give me an advantage. And hopefully he'll be... I'll get to rest as soon as I finish running to the hill. So even though my turrets are going to be tried when they get there... They should be nice and fresh by the time he gets there and he should be tired. 
and tiredness in Three Kingdoms is huge, especially on cavalry. Cavalry in Three Kingdoms, very powerful in Three Kingdoms, which is one of the things I'm finding hardest going back to Warhammer because it's not that powerful there, at least compared to here. But you can see in cavalry that there's a huge difference. Like when they're tired, like the charge has nowhere near as much of force. They're still powerful. They're still easily like really powerful when used well when tired. Especially when everything else is tired anyway. But you can see a massive difference just in their speed. And the speed's the main thing that makes cavalry powerful. The speed and the charge. Right, there we go. My guys are still fresh, but they're getting to rest now. I think we've got a big archer advantage, don't we? Yeah, we do. A really big archer advantage. They've got the slight cav advantage. I've got a huge hero advantage. I'm saying slight cav advantage. They're the only ones with cav at all. But the AI is never that great at using cav. Oh, wait, no, they've got four, five. So, oh, they've got a huge cav advantage. They're walking over nice and slow. So, anyone know any card games? So, what skill do you have? You've got Cotton Melee Splash Damage, really nice. You had, what was it? Ground Weapon. I wonder if we can get you in a duel, because you do have, was it, good armor as well, don't you? Yeah, you've got the good armor. Does not want to duel, I'm afraid. What about you? Does not want to duel. So you're going to be quite good. You're only level 1, but you're quite strong for a level 1. They have the spearman on the flanks. Spearman on the flank, swordsman. Uh, yeah, they're main cavalry on this side. Gonna take these spearmen and go like so because I know what their cav are gonna do. Take that, you know, swordsman, go like so. It's actually quite handy for me that they've done it this way. Go after the Lance Cavalry because they don't have shields. As the mighty oak falls, so must you. Shut up and die! The enemy unit flees! What cowards! Brilliant. Fire upon them! Steal yourselves! You know, thinking of running. This shooter's probably gonna run. And as soon as the melee is sort of engaged. Ready, boats! Bowman, stand ready! Fire! Look, the enemy run! Craven! Sword shouting! Generals, look his general. Get a counter charge on the go. Get you ready to flank. These three archer units on their archer units. Use round here too. You just help those spearmen. You get your splash off. Use it there. Use it there. Surely you can do better. Nope, that's a problematic. You just got skirmish mode on. Take that off. They're gonna die pretty fast anyway. Spearmen grab them. The enemy warriors are running! Brilliant! Do 
Gonna be a mash route here soon. Do not let him get away. Very happy days. Close victory, AI. Look at that. Look, the enemy run. Craven. Surprised he's say, ah, it's the infantry captain. I was going to say. I was like, he's really holding in there when everything else is dead. Very nice indeed. Just waiting for him to die. Please, what cowards! The enemy general is falling. Why are they not running yet? Oh, the saber militia are coming back. Okay, why on earth? Our 29 men decided to try and take on a whole army on their own. I don't know. Ah, yeah, they ran. There we go. Victory is proof of heaven's There we go, we're back now. Get the zeal, lovely. And you know I'll ransom. They fought only for them. We need a lot of money. We'll be able to take over that little mining village. Which will help a lot every little Increasing our economy right now. Oh, brilliant. He ran off. Faction, faction this, faction that. I cannot. He's just going to get the garrison helping him. I think we could take him on on our own now, which would then destroy the garrison. Hopefully one of our allies will come take here. There, yeah, yeah, things are starting to look good again. For honor. This guy ranked up brilliant. Let's see now. Code expertise for resolve with resolve 50 milli evasion. Not bad for cunning seven meters around him. Speed and morale buff It's passive. Campaign. Movement range his own army and speed his own retinue. That's quite good. Armor for his own retinue. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. We'll need to make sure we get high armor troops in here because that 10% will be huge on them. Right. Strike through. Easy, simple. A wee delegation. Our faith was rewarded. Occupy need wounded. We will bring righteousness to this settlement. What I want to know is why these rebellion musterings are against me. 
I'm gonna have to take this out now. This should be on my side. This should be helping me. Sprout ever upwards to heaven. Let's see, it's level three. It's just damn nice. 300 income. Public order shouldn't be much of a problem. Right. I think we do go attack this guy. Purge corruption. You'll get the garrison. Hopefully one of our allies will then come take it. We could ransack the city too. Maybe pillage it. Get some money. But then again, that's going to lower it weaker than my ally. But then again, allies aren't that great. <laughs> They're not doing great. I'm basically doing it all. We need to help this guy get a foothold too. He's got a nice strong army here. And he's a nice strong character. But he's got other characters going around behind him and mopping up everything he takes over. Oh, is that the Uber Duber army? Yeah, there it is, protecting the capital. We're going to need to be careful, keep an eye out for that Uber Duber army. He's in. Right. I want to make more money. That, would that give me an extra slot? Slots, two. No, it wouldn't. Uh, that would. That's expensive, 3k. Yeah, we'll spend that. Uh, it's not going to give us an extra building, but I kind of want everyone to be at least free because then that's when it gets the walls, isn't it? I think two just gives a, a tiny garrison. Didn't really tell you. One. I thought one didn't have a garrison. Or am I thinking about the little settlements? Okay, one doesn't have a wall. Two doesn't look like it has a wall. It looks like it has a fence. Three. Three doesn't look like it has a wall either. Four. Four has the wall. Yeah, four has the wall. Oh, settlement has walls. I should. I was looking for that and I was like, hey, why is it not here? Why is it not here? It's four has the walls. Yeah, I kind of want to get everywhere to at least four. Like here it is. It's just big enough to have that. Right. Heaven calls. Ah, he is getting all three armies. I didn't think the other army was in range. Because it's on the water. Ah! Stand down! The way is the only law. We'll head back there. Nothing else I can afford this turn, I don't think. Wait, 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 we do have one little... Ah, yeah, uh, yeah, it's just... Yeah. It's rebellion mustering. Yeah, I know. I know. Nothing I can do about that. They should be joining me. Yeah, they're both coming out. Now they don't have a garrison to help them. They are the reinforcements. The RT is in the reinforcements. Mm. I think so it'll be a Pyrrhic victory. Oh. If I retreat, I think they'll have the range to come get me, but they'll draw them even further into my territory. So I think it's a good idea to retreat. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. And they're both just force marching it back. And I've got that. these two armies to think about now, too. Ugh. I need to get this army down here and helping out, too. We need to keep expanding. We can't let ourselves stall. Stalling means death. Oh, that's not good. Impossible. Right. We need to wipe out these guys, even though they should be on my side. 
Oh, that was some nice animation. I don't think I've seen that one before. Well, at least they're funding me. And we got zeal for it. And even more money. And experience. So at least they did help in some ways. Faction wide income from commerce. And it's not even... Damn, those abilities are good because it's not even faction... It doesn't say faction leader or anything. It's just... So it's going to come from commerce, faction wide. Yeah, that is awesome. I don't have that much commerce at the moment, but that could be huge eventually if you get a load of characters with that. Okay, let's start heading on down this way. Stay true. Just outside of my goddamn range, taking on this guy. Quite a wee bit of money to spend. How am I going to spend it? Grading that toolmaker would get me more money. Boom. But it's also expensive. Cost me almost all I had. We're starting to make good money a turn again. I really need cavalry in here. And this guy have cavalry. Resist corruption and endure. No, none of them can have cavalry. I'm gonna need to see if I can get some cavalry in the research tree then. This is good and high for now. How long do we get that mission? Uh, anyway, Our this should be a par. This guy was it? This guy's wounded for one turn. Supplies are going down. Why are they going down? You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think we're going to move to here. Then I think we're going to encamp. Ambush. Well, you know, we could try and ambush them. Do I not have a fort thing I can build like everyone else? Oh. Ready, the encampment. Yeah, I'm going to encamp. And hope they come out and attack me, and I'll have the encampment buffs. Which isn't really giving me any buffs. Huh, oh well. But anyway, I'm going to give that a try. Oh, what's, what's, what's going on here? Ah, just clear water. Um, I'll see you all next time. bye -zy bye <laughs>